Hello, friends. Today's another great day in the world of golf. I am about to go play with my best buddy, Joel. Joel is a director of photography. He filmed my commercial for Swing Caddy. He's helped me do a lot of my top stuff, but we made several TV shows together. And he's just an awesome golf friend. And he's been my golf friend since 2006. So he watched all of the really bad golf for five years before I started my swing evolution. And God bless him, he's gotten a lot better as well. And today we're going to play at a course we've never played at before that's called Alhambra Golf Club. People call it Almanzer because that's the name of the street it's on. And it's just about three and a half miles away from my house. And I'd never played there until a few months ago. I kept hearing the guys talk about it. And this course is a city course, okay? It's not very long. It's not very difficult. It's a par 71. And the thing that's interesting that I realize now is when I play the city courses, they're so gettable. Like, I am used to playing harder courses now. And uh, something interesting is... I played at Sherwood Country Club last week, and I was invited by one of my students. And this is where I watched the Tiger World Challenge several years. Like, we'd go out there and watch the pros follow Tiger. I'm standing, like, from here, 10 feet away from Tiger. I remember he looked at me one time, and I was like, Bleh. it was, like, totally crazy. I was on the second tee box right across from him. You know, but I hit a great drive on number two. The, the nines are flipped now. But the thing that's crazy is off the tee, plenty of holes were simple. But number 18, it's like you have no sight line. You have to hit a cut around the corner. And it's, it's, just, it's just a different kind of game. Sherwood's a hard golf course. But there's something that's easier, though. Chipping. When you play these really, really nice golf courses, the grass is all uniform. It's like it's like the ball is sitting on top of a hairbrush. And you can just you get the cleanest strike on your chips you've ever seen. So they're tougher and they're easier in different ways. But the thing that was really cool about Sherwood is I had a bunch of chips I've never, you just don't have them, you know? Like there's these false fronts and there's these, you know, big depressions and multi-level greens and you're hitting shots to kill them into the hill and try and get them to trickle up and, you know, all these different kinds of shots that just make the game completely different. And one thing that I've learned that I think is a great, tip when you play on these like pro tour courses or major championship courses that have multi-level greens what i found is you play to a spot at the top of the ridge if you're above the hole and that usually feeds the ball down by the pin and so it's just a, a you have to just form a different type of calculation in your heads when you start to play these these really fine golf courses and and they are gettable sands a mistake you know something like hitting it in the the you know this is the thing like i hit several bad drives when i was at sherwood and it's not just like you're in the trees you're in freaking jail <laughs> that's that's the difference with these hard courses, I did birdie the second hole. I had several really good, good holes and I got up and down a million times, you know, so Sherwood was great, but Al Manzer is going to be a lot of fun today with my buddy, Joel. And I want to give you guys one quick tip before I go. And this is about the bottom of your swing arc. Solid ball striking is all about owning the bottom of your swing. And when you hit an iron, you have to catch ball first before your club bottoms out, okay? I had a student that I was working with last week or maybe two weeks ago, 
And we were talking about his low point in his swing. He's like, yeah, yeah. I took four lessons with this, this golf pro. And he was telling me, you know, I, I have to get my swing bottom forward. I have to get my swing bottom forward so I can, you know, compress the golf ball. And I, I said, well, what did you guys work on to do that? And he goes, we, we didn't work on anything. He just told me to get my swing bottom forward. So this is kind of like the problem that I see with a lot of instruction. And I've rebuilt my swing, okay? So what I discovered is the bottom of your swing arc is directly related to where your center of gravity is at impact, okay? Your COG has to be in front of the ball so you can make a descending blow. So if you just stand with your weight 50-50, your weight, your center of gravity is directly in the middle of your feet. If you shift to your left, you'll feel your weight in your left leg. If you shift to the right, you feel the opposite. For me, when I swing, I have a weight shift into my right foot. But because I'm pivoting and I'm driving my right hip to the rear and my right leg is straightening, I'm shifting into my right, but I'm not shifting my weight away to the away from the target, if that makes sense. So I'm shifting to my right, but it's going behind me. And then it's easier for me to get left. I'm just always, I'm never on the downswing trying to get my center of gravity to where it needs to be. It's always basically there. So that's a quick golf tip to help you guys hit more solid golf shots. I love you all. I just put up a new Gary Player. I put up my lesson with Gary Player. It's a new video on MSE TV where Gary Player gives me a lesson in his backyard. Okay. Actually, it's his daughter's house off the carport. And uh, he walks me through my swing. He lets me hit a ball. He critiques it. And this new video is under the Gary Player section. You can find it. Or I always put my new videos under new videos. So there's a whole section for that. And uh, MSE TV subscribers, I love you. If you're not a member of MSE TV, I highly recommend you get it. I'm trying to put out the best instruction, most sensible instruction in the world of golf. And here's a professionally filmed lesson with Gary Player about my Ben Hogan swing. And I'll leave you with one thing. After I hit my drive for him into his backyard, he burst out saying, I love your swing. Maybe the finest compliment I've ever gotten in my life. So guys, I love you. Hit them long and hit them straight.